It's time to get inside the Giants huddle. Huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. On Giants.com. Here we go, here we go. And the Giants mobile Get them in there, let's go. Part of the Giants podcast network. All right, we are on to defense here on the Giants huddle podcast. As we continue our player interview series, we're going to start off with, again, one of the deeper positions on the Giants roster. That's defensive tackle. We have six interviews coming your way. We did not have a chance to get Leonard Williams, but we do have Ashawn Robinson. We have Nacho. We have Ryder Anderson. We have Vernon Butler. We have rookie Jordan Riley. And then we're going to wrap it up with the big fella, Dexter Lawrence, who had a really good chat with us about last season. He gets a little mad at me for insinuating he wasn't double teamed a lot, which is not what I was doing. I was just saying I thought they did a good job skimming up more one-on-ones for him. And that's why he had a lot of production. But a good chat with Dexter Lawrence as well um, right here on the John Tuttle Podcast. So let's lead it off, and we're going to start off with Ashawn Robinson, one of the newest Giants. We haven't had a chance to talk to him much since he got here, so I thought it was a fun conversation. Now we're joined by, I think, probably the newest member of the New York Football Giants. I don't think we've added somebody since we added Ashawn Robinson. How are you, man? I'm good, sir. How about you? I'm doing great. Nice to meet you. So why did you decide the Giants were the best fit for you? Uh, I thought it was a great choice as in my career, what happened and coming here and watching this team last year and achieve what they achieve and knowing that there's more to be achieved in this year. So I thought it was a great opportunity to join a team and a defense that's already great and just adding in my little flavor that I, I like. What was it about the way they played, the, the personnel and the coaches that made it attractive to you? The tenacity, the the meanness. I like that. That's that's fire. That's me. I I talk a. I don't want to cuss. I talk a lot of trash. <laughs> to whoever and whomever, I don't really care. I don't. Once I ride for my teammates, I ride for my teammates. I'm on a team. I'm riding for them. So, these are my brothers now, and I I'm gonna talk a lot of trash. And I'm gonna make sure I back it up. And I will get to your teammates in a second. I'm gonna start with Wink first. What is it about Wink and his system that you know that makes get, you think it's a good fit for you? He know how to get people in the perfect spots. All you got to do is, is know what to do and execute your job, and you're going to take the place, you know. So that Wink himself, him come, having that scheme and defense and seeing it, like, you know, I went to Alabama, so I had talked to C.J. Mosley and all that stuff about it, and talking to him and understanding where he sees the defense and thing, how he saw it, this is nothing but up. I like this. This is, I mean, people don't get in depth and that deep in the defense to, to break it down, you know. Some mm-hmm. D coordinators like certain things, certain – but he really breaks it down at every level, and I like that. And the other thing people have told me that are in, in your position group, that Andre Patterson is just a tremendous position coach. What has it been like working with him, and is he already tweaking some of your technique and stuff like that to make you a better player? It's been, it's been great because, you know, I was in Detroit first, and I would see him when he had, you know, Daniel Hunter, Everson Griffin, Linville Joseph. Mm-hmm. And that D-line was getting after it. And then, like I said, watching these guys, him having big decks, and Leo, like, it's it's showing itself again. And being around him and, and showing him what I like to do and him tweaking that and, and making it better and fine-tuning it, you know, I really appreciate that because not too many coaches do that, you know. Not too many coaches want to break it down and help every player to have the, what they want, what they're already pushing. But I appreciate Coach Dre, Coach Patterson doing it. Yeah, I want to. Talk, how about your fit? We were having a our debate on um, our Big Blue Kickoff Live show, which is our daily show on Giants.com, and – we were like, all right, well, if you get Leo and Ashawn and Dex out there, like, which guy is it knows? Which guy is going to be at the shade? Who's going where? Like, can we you can guys play all, anywhere? Well, we can all play anywhere. That's my question. Versatility is it's great. That's what I'm saying. We have Nacho and everything. So, and Vern and having Riley, having DJ, you know, Jordan, having everybody come in and just seeing everyone's athleticism come together and, and seeing that art and form, it lets you know, like, it could be great things to come. We keep gelling and gelling it together. So, like, to be around and see that, it, it, it looks pretty nasty. I ain't going to lie. No, it, it does. Nasty. Where, you, where do you think you're most effective? Do you like playing the nose? Do you like playing the three? Where do you like to be on that defensive front? Well, I'm going to tell you this. I don't trip about none of that. I'm going to make a play regardless. If I see it, I'm going to make it. That's so fair enough. It could be anywhere from six to nine to seven to five to four to three to two to one. Mm-hmm. I'm, I did that. I've shown that in my whole career. So, like, for me, it's just – Getting out there with guys is willing to bleed and, you know, put this all on the line together. And I, I know those guys want to, so I'm going to do the same thing. What makes Leo and Dex special? Work ethic. That's what tells you a lot about a person, their work ethic. If, they don't, if they're not working hard, then you can tell that they don't care too much. They're not worrying about, you know, where they, where they should be, where the team needs to go. 
with them being at the type of player in the position that you know that everyone's holding them to. So having that work ethic really means a lot. So it shows upon young players, even you know old players. Like no matter what, we're gonna get this work in. We're gonna get everything done the right way, the correct way, and be efficient with it. So that's where I see them. That big work ethic, guys. Well, I look forward to seeing that there with him, Ashawn. Appreciate the time. Appreciate man. Good it. stuff. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too as well, Ashawn Robinson. And now we're joined by the man. No, it is not Joe. How <laughs> yes. are you, man? I'm doing great. So we so we talked when you first got here. You're all excited and pumped up, ready to go. How has reality compared to what your expectations were when you first walked in the building? Uh, definitely surpassed. Uh, How so? Meeting the guys, uh, the camaraderie. Um, kind of like when you're going to a a new team. It's like going to a new school as a you know adolescent. Sure. You're new. You kind of to the corner you're to yourself. It's, it's different. Because here you're coming, you know, not only do a job, but take somebody's job. So it's a little different how you're received. But coming here uh, from the players to the coaches, been welcome, open arms. Uh, guys telling me, you know, the ropes, where to go, where not to go, restaurants, place of living, things of that nature, anything to make my transition easier. And uh, just the personalities within the walls. Like, you would think that I've been around some of these guys all my life how we just gelled together. So when I say it surpassed it, things that I had, expectation, it went through the roof meeting the guys. How you fit in with the players and the coaches to the point you were kind of just making? Man, I, I think I made that point. Like, it's just, it's like they've been waiting for me. Oh, all right. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and I've never been in that situation. And I just feel like, you know, I want to do my best to get back and just be the best player I can be for real. What is it about the scheme that you've seen so far that you think really matches what you're trying to do? Uh, I like to put my hands on people. And so uh, sitting there at the line, uh, being physical, being disruptive, uh, that's a lot what this defense requires, and that's all the traits that I bring. So I, I feel like it goes hand-in-hand. Hand. What are your expectations for this defensive line? You know, since we spoke, and Ashawn Robinson has joined your group too. Exactly. Uh, I mean, you guys, you guys got some big fellows with a lot of talent and physical ability in there. I feel like the number one thing is pride. I feel like just taking pride in what you do every day, execution and the expectation of one another, uh, raising the level for each one. Uh, guys like Lenny and Dex come out, just, you know, the level of play doesn't drop. If anything, it stays the same or it sells. So just having that that type of competitive spirit and also having each other back, you know. So making each better or making each person get better on the way. How's New York been? Lovely. Have you gotten out at all? Yes. What, 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 uh, every weekend. What have you done? Every weekend, me and my wife uh, have family day on Saturday with the kids. So she always figure out something, some nice. festivity. Uh, at first, I had thought of the zoo so we went to Central Park Zoo and the Bronx Zoo oh Bronx Zoo is awesome it's yeah, huge it's it awesome. huge 250 some acres we loved it out there it's a lot uh, of walking whoo you ain't lying <laughs> so we didn't make it through cause we got there a little too late around like 2.30 but uh it was beautiful we plan to go back uh we've been to I think it was like the Color Wheel Museum and we also been to the Ice Cream Museum nice. off uh Broadway so we've been to a couple a uh, couple different places the number one restaurant I've been to thus far is called The Saga. And Where's it, that at? Uh, I do not know. It's somewhere <laughs> in, in, the, in uh It was in New York. Okay. And it was like on the 38th floor. Great uh, dining. It was a seven-course meal. Ooh. It was beautiful. We got there like 9 o'clock. Everything Whoa. included. It was my ears popped going up to the floor. It was, it was awesome. I loved it. Awesome. See the whole town from there. It was just I've never experienced nothing like that in my life. Well, you got plenty more time to experience oh, more, yeah. my man. Good stuff, Nacho. <laughs> yes, Appreciate sir. it, dude. Yes, Thank sir. you. Sure. And now we're joined by Giants defensive lineman, Ryder Anderson. Ryder, how are you, man? I'm blessed, man. How are you? So you put a mirror on your year last year. What was your kind of biggest takeaway? What did you see? Um, yes, sure. Last year was really just about me learning. Just, you know, first year, first year in the NFL. Um, I was able, ended up able to get my feet wet a little bit with a couple games on the active roster. And so that was that's a big thing for me, just just learning, taking it all in. What do you think you learned? What what, what was your biggest thing that you took away that'll help make you a better player this year? Um, I mean that was that was a bunch of things, you know, just just looking at my technique, um, looking at the the way that I do things, uh, and you know my the vets in my room have helped me out a lot with those things. But 
I would say just one of the things is, you know, um, experience and I say hard work takes takes you further than, you know, just your raw skill set. So, you know, putting in putting in the hard work to really understand your technique and to really execute your technique is more important than, you know, just how strong or how fast you are. What were some of the things that you personally wanted to work on a lot this offseason? The coaches, you know, sent you off in January and said, look, Ryder, next couple months you go with your trainer or whatever. This is kind of what we want you to get better at. I'm um, really just uh, a, a lot of my 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 technicalities in the run game. Sure. Um, gaining weight, you know, getting bigger, stronger. Um, whenever I came in last year, I transitioned from the edge. So, you know, I was probably about 275 whenever I came in. Uh, last year and so just gaining weight uh, which I did gain a lot and then getting stronger and being able to really play that run. How much have you learned from Andre Patterson who's one of the longest tenured and best defensive line coaches in, in the game? I've learned so much from him he's he's one of the best coaches that I've I've ever been around and he, he teaches me so much every day um, you know, we could we could just talk about every aspect of my game, honestly. You know, from pass rush, really understanding some of the things that I thought were correct that really aren't as efficient. And that's the big that's the biggest thing is efficiency. That's the biggest thing with him. So, you know, taking out wasted steps, taking out wasted movements, just uh honing in on the details is 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 the biggest thing. Run game and pass game. Ryder, good stuff, man. Appreciate it. For Thanks sure. for the time, Appreciate man. You. All right, now we're joined by one of the newest members of the Giants, defensive lineman Vernon Butler. Vernon, how are you, man? Good, man. How you doing? So, why the Giants? Uh, really, I came in last year. Uh, I knew a coach, Andre Patterson, and of I wanted to, wanted to get in with him and, you know, just pick his brain and, and see what I could pick up from him. What did you pick up from him? Uh, you know, just different techniques, uh, rushing techniques, really, uh, you know, using my body and my, my size instead of being finesse. So, he really just using power, you know. Things like that. Yeah, we saw what, what Andre did kind of opening up Dexter Lawrence's game. Right? Yeah. He went from being a very good player to being a guy that nobody could block. Yeah. What is it about getting with that right coach that understands the position so well that he can just help a player? Uh, well, coaches have been around a long time. They pick up different things from different people. And Coach Andre's been around for a while. So yep. uh, I, I can tell from uh, what Dex went from, from before he got here to where he is now. He's a totally different player, so I'm just trying to, you know, just pick his brain and see what I can do from there. When you talk to Andre, talk to Wink, how do they foresee your, your role this year in terms of, you know, where exactly, you know, the, the techniques you're going to play, where on the mm -hmm. line you're going to play. I know Wink likes to move move everybody around. Yeah. So how do you foresee your usage? Uh, well, Coach, he, uh definitely have a big role in last year. I uh, feel like I can come in and make an impact on this team. You know, just I just have to get the playbook down and, you know, yeah, stay healthy for one thing, and uh, you know, playing three technique is is what I used to do. But I can also play the nose, play the zero. So whatever well, they need me to play, I play. Yeah. I got to imagine being here at the second year now. You got to be a yeah. lot more comfortable, yeah. right? A lot more comfortable. Uh, I mean, it's the players, the coaches, everybody. You know, it's, it's more like a brotherhood here. You know, it's a lot of camaraderie. So that's a good thing about being here. And you got a couple of new guys in the room, right? You got Nacho yeah. in there. You got Ashawn in there. Yeah. You guys added some beef, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we also had uh, the new young guy, uh, the rookie, uh, yep. Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, yeah. <laughs> but, Big guy too, right? But yeah, I've been new Nacho, man. Nacho, me and him, we'll go back to college. We play, used to play against each other in college. Oh, really? So, yeah. It's, it's, it's good to finally get me on, on the same team again. I like, I've been, been watching for a while now. I always notice how he has a motor. Knowing those personalities, I imagine that's a fun room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you're talking about you got Nacho, you got uh, Dex. <laughs> Big Dex, you got Leo. Yeah, man, so Ryder is probably one of the funniest guys on the team. People don't know that. Is he really? But Ryder is funny as heck, man. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome, man. Um, so what are your what are your goals now? You know, he heading into training camp, uh, a new season coming. Uh, just, you know, stay healthy. Yeah, whatever the coach asks me to do, I, I do it. Uh and be, make plays for this for the defense. It's hungry defense. <laughs>
Burning, good stuff, man. We appreciate good the time. Best luck this year. Thank you, man. Right. And now we're joined by a Giants rookie defensive lineman, Jordan Riley. Jordan, how are you, man? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing well. So how has the six weeks of OTAs kind of treated you up here? I know you had a, I know you had a couple weeks where it was just kind of you and like none of the vet defensive tackles. Yeah. You were the only guy over there, but how, how has it gone overall? Oh, it's been pretty good. Um, just getting acclimated to the guys. Uh, then Having the vet series has really been a, a good thing, just um, fitting in. Um, I really enjoy my six week here so far. Uh, just you know, learning the playbook, um, learning what Coach Dre trying to teach us, and you know, Coach Wink, you know, what he wanted us to do in the defensive scheme. Um, I really just you know enjoy being here. Andre Patterson's a great defensive line coach. What are some of the things that he's already taught you in the short time he's had you here? Well, uh, just different techniques, um, different when I played in college. Uh, you know, just man down and how how you line up and. Um, it's very different from, from college, but, you know, it, it works. Um, I've seen it work, you know, through film sessions and just his experience throughout, you know, him coaching in this league for so long. So, it's one thing for a coach to teach you things. You mentioned it's good having the vets up here. Right. And you, I mean, this, the guys you have in your room, right. Dexter, Leonard Williams, uh, Ashawn Robinson, right. multi-year Pro Bowl starts, yeah. all that stuff, Nacho, yeah. Vernon Butler, yeah. guys that all play your position and have had a lot of success in the league. So how have they kind of helped you a little bit just figure out how to succeed in the NFL as a rookie? Or just uh, take me to the uh, – pull me to the side. Just give me little nuggets while we, you know, during the practice and while we're doing OTAs. And then I try to take, you know, every crumb I can I can get. Um, but now these are a great group of guys. Um, you know, I'm blessed to be in the room with you know s such talent. But um, you know, these guys are are you know real solid men. You know, and they you know they take out their time and their day to help me out. So I really appreciate that. As we break here and head to training camp, what are some of the things the coaches want you to work on in that interim period besides getting some rest? Yeah. So you're ready to go when you come back for training camp. I'm um, just just being more locked in into the playbook. Um, you know, obviously being in the best shape I can possibly be. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, work on the drills that we work on, you know, while while, I, while we was here. So, For Giant fans that maybe didn't watch out there on, on the West Coast or, or throughout your college career, what are some of the things you think that you're really good at? What are your strengths? Uh, and then what are some uh, of the things that you think you still need to work on a little bit? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty strong at, you know, stopping the run. You know, I, you know, I take pride in, you know, stopping the run and, you know, disrupting, you know, an uh, offense run game. Uh, that's what I do pretty well. But um, an area of improvement for me will, will definitely be the rush game, I mean, pass rush game, um, you know, being able to, to affect the, the pass rush, you know. So um, just giving it more depth at that position, you know, when it's third down or you know, fourth down, stuff like that. Jordan, good stuff, man. We can't uh, wait to see you on the field in August. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you. Now we're joined by Giants defensive lineman Dexter Lawrence. Dex, how are you, man? Doing good. Can't complain, it's good man. To see can't you, complain. Man. All right, so let's. You have some new guys in your room. Mm -hmm. What is it like working with uh, Big Nacho and Ashawn and, yeah. and the Rook? Both, both uh, big vets. Um, you know, like nine years in, so I, I can learn a lot from them, and you know, uh, and they can learn a lot from me at the same time. So I'm excited to have those guys here. You know, all of us being ready to be productive. And, you know, we had Ashawn, we were talking to him, and he just talked about, as I asked him, we were having a debate on one of our shows, you know, if you have Ashawn, Dexter, and Leo out there, like, how do they line up? Who's in what spot? Mm -hmm. He goes, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We could all go anywhere. Mm -hmm. is, is that true? No, it's very true. Um, that's a great answer from him. Like you said, we all are around the same size pretty much, and um, we all have capable of the same abilities and can play every position on the um, on the field. So that's exciting. Does that help the defense because then you can kind of set up matchups that work better for you guys? Like, how does that uh, help? I think it just it just helps you know matchup wise, and then like guys, you know, like teams not knowing where we're going to line up at type of thing, and you know, teams uh, not game planning. Okay, Dex is going to be here, Leonard's going to be here, Nacho's going to be here, Ashawn, yeah. you know, just you know, just playing around so you can't get a good bead. So <clears throat> you've talked a lot about Coach Patterson and, mm -hmm. and how he helped you last year. Mm -hmm. Now that you had some chance to step away and really kind of look back and think about it, you're not in the middle of everything happening. Mm -hmm. What impact do you th really think the biggest impact he had on your game last year, having your kind of breakout season? Um, you know, just keeping it, keeping the game plan a game plan, um, knowing what made me successful and not shying away from it, and you know, continuing to harp and, and coach me hard and harp on the little details and you know. If it's getting the arm over through or finishing, you know, playing long, you know, little things like that, that the constant reminder every day or in every week, um, you know, it start it starts really in camp. You know, we 
we go over the little techniques from ground up is how he teaches it. And, you know, it's very helpful that, you know, my off season coach kind of teaches the same format. And, um, well, that's good. So it, it was just good to have that constant, you know, just consistency in my technique and, you know, mastering my craft every day. You know, and the other thing I noticed too, and tell me if, if you think I'm, I'm off base on this, but just watching you on tape, I felt like the way the defense was schemed up, I saw you, it can get crowded inside, right? It's easy to mm-hmm. double team a guy like you. Mm-hmm. I saw you get one on ones against opposing centers <laughs> more this year than I've ever seen you get before. Well, take where you are. <laughs> no, it, it, it happened, you know, probably more than usual. Um, oh, oh but, trust me, teams are still double teaming. Yeah, you don't yeah, get yeah. me wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But like we had we had guys rushing like Leonard on the side, you know, Kayvon came in last year, Aziz, you know, so it's hard to, you know, single block all of us, you know what I'm saying? And um, I, 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 when the times they chose they choose you, you gotta take advantage of it. Well, and I guess where I'm going with it too is that you know, wink. You think about all the blitzes and you mm-hmm, try to get yeah. free runners, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, getting a free runner is great. Mm-hmm. But even if they pick everyone up, mm-hmm. then you are one on one, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these centers you were facing, you probably outweigh them by what? 40 pounds <laughs> good, probably a good bit yeah. you're longer than them too <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean I got to imagine just getting those one-on-one matchups you, you automatically mm-hmm. think well this is going to be a win for me just mm-hmm. because of, of who I am right I th- yeah um, whenever you get a one-on-one as a D-line it's a blessing and you like I said you want to take full advantage of it and you know hone in on that hone in on your technique and you know the game plan you came up with to beat this guy one on one and you know those years last year I took advantage of those opportunities and some and some double team opportunities I took advantage oh, of I, yeah. I, absolutely <laughs> you did you, you you were impossible to block in there so congratulations on the contract by the way thank you so now you're officially a veteran you're off your yeah. rookie contract <laughs> you're an old grizzled veteran right. have you kind of figured out your off season routine and now and mm-hmm. kind of what it takes for you to be the best version of yourself yeah I have um Basically, you know, resting my body and, you know, you know, watching what I eat and, you know, having a good training set up. And, you know, I think that's just the, the, the you know, one of the most important thing is, you know, just understanding, OK, this is how I progress and then get to where I need to be for camp type of thing. It's not for me personally, it's not killing myself 24, seven, seven days a week um, is it's letting my body rest. Um, and then so I can be healthy when I start training and, you know, progress progressively, you know, get ready for camp. I'm sure Leo's told you a lot about that too, right? Yeah. He's a guy that's mm-hmm. done this for a long yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Leo, like, he, he, you know, he's on the same thing. He probably – he probably does a little more to me because he likes deep sea fishing. <laughs> He's always out there doing something crazy, yeah. right? Uh, but, yeah, kudos to him. I told him I'd just be on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> um, final question. So, you you know, I'll call it a breakout. I thought you were playing really well before last year, however you mm-hmm. want to phrase it. But you're getting all the recognition, right? Mm-hmm. All pro votes, pro bowl, all that sort of yep. good stuff. Mm-hmm. What's now the next step for you when Dexter Lawrence looks at where you are as a player? Where mm-hmm. is there still room for you to continue to get better and improve? Yeah, I missed a lot of players last year that I, that I should have made. There weren't that many. <laughs> there was a lot. <laughs> um, and, you know, for me, you know, like I said, I got the second contract. For me, it's really just, you know, continuing to, to prove and be legendary and, uh, you know, be a Hall of Famer one day. And, you know, I don't think I'm done after – my contract. I don't think any of that. I think I still have a lot to prove about who I am. And, you know, all the greatest, they did it consistently for years and, you know, or doing it consistently for years yeah. type of thing. So that's that's my mindset. It's just stacking years on top of each other and continue to prove myself. Dex, good talking to you as always, my man. Yeah. Best of luck. Enjoy your summer and we'll see you for training camp. Thank you, man. All right, and we thank Dexter Lawrence and his other large group of men, Ashawn Robinson, Nacho, Jordan Riley, Ryder Anderson, and Vernon Butler, for joining us on the Giants Huddle Podcast. Thank you so much for being with us. I thought it was a good conversation. Maybe the strongest position group on this Giants roster with vets, younger guys, and, of course, the monster in the middle, Dexter Lawrence. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time.